Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, this is Riley, and I'm sometime as now, and today we're going to uh, install a signal point uh, connection on the 1025R, so we don't have to mess around with uh, these quick couplings. I'm going to install the bracket and all the, I'll uh, go over all the stuff that comes with the kit. This is all from John Deere. And uh, I'll, I'm going to install the single point and I'm also going to put it on the snow blower. So all I have to do is pull one lever and I can take my loader off, put my snow blower on and not have to mess around with any of these couplings. You don't even have to shut the tractor off. You just take there, pull up. You don't even get out nothing. You just pull the lever and you're done. So uh, let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, pull this up and take the loader and unhook it. We'll go from there. safety glasses on because sometimes these hydraulic I don't trust the hydraulic lines squirting in your face so <clears throat> make sure all the pressure is released then just pull off all the lines That's why I want to put that single point on because these things are a pain in the butt. They're dirty, grungy. All right, so now that we got that, I'm gonna pack. I'm gonna back the tractor back so we can get to all these bolts so we can mount that bracket. got to mount this like that so we'll we'll pull these out and go from there get the 15 16 get the 15 16 on the impact So here's the stock bolt. Put a nut on the back. Alright, so when you go to put these bolts in, put in these two first or else you can't get to this one in the back with the wrench and then put the top one in last 
So you're going to want to torque these two and then torque the top one. So you have to come down through the top. You can't get to it through the back because there's on the back side of this frame there's a, a gusset on the back. So it, it's tight against each end. So you got to go to get to the bottom one, you go through the bottom. To get to this one, you go through the top. And then the last one you put in is the one on the very top. And that's the only way you'll be able to do it. If you put this one in, you won't be able to get to this bolt. And we just torque these to 223. And do the same thing once we put the top one in. And we'll torque them all to 223 foot pounds. Then we just got got these two torqued, 223 foot pounds, and we'll just put the last one in. And always do the last one, the top one last, so you can reach it. So this is the, the little protective piece. Start it at the bottom and work your way up. It's just like a little protective piece so when you're putting the putting the side in there in and out you won't scratch up everything. Alright, so now that I got these all torqued. I'm going to put a line straight across. Now, I can see if those move, if they start to turn, I'll know that they need to be retorqued. All right, so we have all these. These are for the 2025R, along with some extra washers. So it only calls for the six on the main, on the big uh, bolts. So we're going to set these aside. These are this is everything we took off. So we'll set this aside. So we got the 2520 bolts. The 1025 bolts are on the machine. Plus these are spares. Well, they were they were for these. But they send you extra hardware. And then we'll take and set these all aside. Get this out of the way. Alright, so first thing we gotta do is we gotta install these are the these are the lines that we're gonna use for the for this part, for the upper part. For the quick for the single point. So what we gotta do is we gotta put colored zip ties around each one. Doesn't matter in what order, you just got to have one on each one of the color coded.
got to install four fittings to this lower piece. So we'll we'll pop all these out one at a time. I just did the I did the first one already. So we have the one with the the, the nut on it, and then they got this one. This is where the line's going to hook to. So you're going to this is going to go into this. You're going to take this. You're going to spin it up in there. All right, so these, this part is, this part is three quarters, but the other is seven eighths put them like that and just kind of close these up like that and then they still swivel I usually I just run them through and I hand tighten them. I hold on to this with the seven eighths, and then I just hand tighten it till it stops. And then the nut drives this washer with the O ring on the back side. If you look at these, it's got an O ring. And on the next one, so I've been getting these out of here with these side cutters. However you get them out, needle nose, whatever, knife. So if you look, it's kind of like a taper. So when you tighten that, that O-ring goes into this taper. And then we'll just install this one. I just hand tighten them. They swivel, they swivel anyway, so. And then I'll just hold on to that and tighten this nut. And like I said, you don't have to crank the crap out of them. That's just the way these fittings are. <clears throat> They're like a medium snug. You know, you can. You can put this on here and then just use this to just kind of, just enough. You'll feel it stop. And these will all swivel. Once we mount it, you're gonna, these, the lines will be able to swivel. Okay. We'll do the last one. Usually just hold on to this right here is enough. I usually back the nut up a little bit. Just tighten it till it stops. And we'll just tighten her up. We gotta mount the lines. So we'll pop that off. That's got an O-ring in it. So now we're going to be looking for red. So we'll do the red line. And it's flat, so that O-ring is going to go against this flat inside.
So I was going to use to hold this fitting right here. I was going to use 11 16 but it was kind of loose. So I got a 17 millimeter and that fits on there a little bit better. And let's see what this size is. Of course. Let's see. We got 7 8 So 17 millimeter. 17 millimeter. And 7 8 And we'll do the next one. Do blue. If we have any issues with with leaks or anything, we can always go back and retighten. But I don't. Have now we'll do the black. Just pinch these. There. Now we can mount that, and this mounts to the bracket, and you have different lengths. You got 25 and 30. I'm gonna go with the 30s, they're longer of the two, and then you just have two, they're all the same as far as the nut. Um, but the little bolts are different, so we'll use the longer ones on this. All right, now we'll mount this. And these are 13 millimeter. So 13 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter wrench. And we'll try to get in here with these. So next we gotta we gotta install these four quick couplings and the the fitting to holds the reducer. This reducer with the fitting uh, goes on the blue line for the lift extend. They they want it so it doesn't lift up too fast. It's more it's more controllable. So that they they have to put that uh, reducer in for the blue line. So we'll do that next. Make sure that's setting down in there flat. You're going to want that flat down inside the bottom. So we've got to choose the blue line. Take this off. And then we're going to put this on here. So Tip this upside down, so once you tip that out, it's going to fall and 
and gonna crook it. So make sure you keep this like this. And we'll just tighten these up. Once it's once it's snug, it can't turn. It will be a 17 millimeter and three quarter. Now we'll snug that up. Now same thing. It's got an O-ring in it, so you don't have to crank the crap out of it. Just kind of just give it a little pinch. And now we're going to take this. And we're going to put the we're going to put one of these on it for the quick coupling because that's got to plug in down there. And this is going to take two three quarters. And same thing, just going to kind of pinch them together. This one, this one will plug into blue and it's got the reducer in it so it won't lift the bucket up too fast, the, you know, the lift extend. So uh, now we'll do the rest of them. The other ones are just normal. Just take the cap off. And we'll do a snug. Seventeen millimeter, three quarter, and then just pinch. Perfect. Put the uh, these rubber connectors on. So we have to install these. So we got. Let's see. This is red. So we'll put this on red. It goes on there. You can put it on whereabouts, wherever you want. And we got blue. It's a nice kit, really. I wouldn't expect anything different from John Deere. They do really good stuff for accessories. Let's see, black. that and then the last one is yellow and we got yellow all right so these have to go we have to slip them up so we put them up here so when we remove this you have caps to put on these so when you're running without the loader so we'll just do one at a time here. They say don't forget to put these on, but I did.
do that. And the same with the rest of them. Now we'll put this on. Scissors. Scissors. Where's my scissors? Ugh, last time for this one. So now we're going to work on the upper half. So we got to get these plugs out. And like I said, just be careful not to hit that radius where the O ring goes in. And just turn that down until it snugs up and you're going to want this facing away from you this is this is how the handle goes on the tractor so when, so when you go you're going to grab it put it on the single point and then you're going to go like this and you're going to engage it so all the lines are going to have to go towards the loader all right so that's as much as I can go, and you're going to want every one of these facing away from you. And then this is going to go on here like that. So we'll tighten this one up, and that's going to be <clears throat> 7 eighths. Nope. What do we got? 15 sixteenths and 3 quarters. So we gotta so we gotta put a zip tie on all these so we can isolate each line.
I'm just going to, I'm going to be doing all the I'll pop all these out first. See, if you try to get one more spin out of them, sometimes it doesn't go. So that's why you gotta, whatever way it faces. So I'm gonna leave this one over a little bit so I can get this one in. Good, everything clears. Now we'll just tighten these up. up a little bit. That's how that sets just like that all right so now we got to take off these lines so we can install those so first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a 10 millimeter loosen up these this bracket so we can move the lines around a little bit and 13 sixteenths.
All right. So we got all those loose. Put them in the box. Now we got yellow, black, blue, and red. They've already color coded them. See, they have O-rings. All right. Let's hook up black. vibration they're not hitting and then we'll put uh, the yellow one on last You have to loosen this. You have to loosen this up so you can get this line out because it goes, it pinches it. You just snug it up. It's just plastic. So we're all set for that. So I'll just have you, I'll just do a quick video on how my lines are positioned, where they're all hooked up. I got them all running this way, and then these, and in the instructions it had them facing up so it made a big arch, right like this. I felt it was obstructing my view, so what I did was I rolled them down, I pointed them all down, so now the now the hoses are down in the middle. There's, it doesn't hit anything, so it's all in the clear. The only other thing I had to do was for my bucket level, um, this right here, I ended up loosening this bolt and then turning this just a little bit, so when it raises up, it clears the hose, and then I just tighten it back up. All right, so I just got that setting on there right now. I just got it set on the pin. Once you activate it, you just pull this down. So <clears throat> we'll hook up these one at a time. All right, get the yellow one hooked up. I already did the black.
Uh, for blue, So these are all seven, 17 millimeter and 13 sixteenths on these. And what I'm doing is I'm snugging these up and then this wants to turn so I hold this. And then once it locks up then I can turn it. It'll be enough. Alright. On the back side of here we have this. It's got a bolt hole here and another. So we got to take this off so we can mount this bracket. All right, so two 13 millimeters. These are also 13 millimeter. Hold these up good. Now that we got that, then we just got to uh, release the pressure 
just, you just go in a circular motion. So we can unhook the lines. I got, this. I got some cardboard. Now when I do this, <clears throat> I always put safety glasses on because sometimes these hydraulic, I don't trust the hydraulic lines squirting in your face. So, <clears throat> make sure all the pressure is released, then just pull off all the lines. That's why I want to put that single point on because these things are a pain in the butt. <clears throat> 